the entertainment world has lost an 80s icon. Irene Cara, known for singing the joyful theme songs to the cult musical films Fame and Flashdance, has died. She was 63. Her publicist, Judith A. Moose, announced the star's death on Twitter November. 25. It is with profound sadness that on behalf of the family I announce the passing of Irene Cara. The Academy Award-winning actress, singer, songwriter, and producer passed away in her Florida home. Her cause of death is currently unknown and will be released when information is available. The statement continued, Irene's family has requested privacy as they process their grief. She was a beautifully gifted soul whose legacy will live forever through her music and films. Funeral services are pending and a memorial for her fans will be planned at a future date. Kara began her entertainment career as a child singer. In the 70s, while still very young, she also tried her hand as an actress, appearing on the soap opera Love of Life, the children's variety show The Electric Company, the miniseries Roots, The Next Generations and later, as a teen, as the lead in the 1976 musical film Sparkle. She also appeared in four Broadway musicals, Maggie Flynn, The Me Nobody Knows, Via Galactica and Got To Go Disco. But it was the 1980 musical drama film Fame that launched her to international, well, fame. The film centered around a performing arts high school, Kara played student Coco Hernandez and performed four songs, including the hit single Fame, for the movie soundtrack. The New York native went on to co-write and perform the lead single Flashdance. What a feeling for the soundtrack to the 1983 romantic drama dance film Flashdance, starring Jennifer Beals as a dancer who aspires to become a professional ballerina. The song earned Kara a Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Performance, Female, and an Oscar for Best Music, Original Song. In 1984, Kara co-starred with Clint Eastwood and Burt Reynolds in the movie City Heat. Later, in the late 80s and early 90s, Kara did voiceover work for children's animated films, such as the movie Happily Ever After. Her last on-screen role is in an episode of the TV series Hearts Are Wild in 1992. Kara also continued her music career, and performed a cover of Petula Clark's hit Downtown for the soundtrack of the 2004 film Downtown, A Street Tale. In 2011, Kara released her final album, Irene Kara Presents Hot Caramel with her all-female band, Hot Caramel. In a follow-up statement, her publicist tweeted, We were working on amazing projects that would have made her and her fans incredibly happy. Her manager and I will finish them. Shed want that. In recent years, Kara enjoyed what she called a semi-retired life in Florida. I sell my stuff online and most of the time I am just here with my family. And I am very proud of my family, the star told Songwriter Universe in 2018. I have a beautiful home by the beach and life is good. I live off my royalties and I work when I want to. Kara was preceded in death by two older brothers and her parents. I am just happy that I was able to fulfill their dreams for me before they passed away, she told Songwriter Universe. When you're five or six years old, you don't choose a career. I wasn't a child who decided, I want to be in showbiz. This was something that was laid out for me by my parents. This was their dream for me, and I fulfilled it. So I am happy about that.